Hey guys, it's your usual host, M, coming back at you from the Toyland. As promised, we are looking at Diablo from the DC Comics Multiverse Suicide Squad figure line. Let's take a look at his package here. There's a little picture of him. Suicide Squad at the top. I'm noticing there's two different types of boxes. There's this gray stone looking logo, and then there's the other logo we see in the trailers where it's all neon and lit up and all the different colors. So that's interesting. There's this uh, little side picture. Good look at him there. There's the back. Same box as uh, Rick Flag on the back. And there he is again. Standing there looking all cool and fiery. <laughs> There's that side. Same old, same old. So yeah, he's got a couple accessories in there. Extra hands. I like accessories. They're fun. So let's take a look at him out of the box. All right, here he is out of the box. Now, as you can see, I have him on a stand because let me tell you first thing, he has a lot of trouble standing up on his own. Um, I didn't try to stand him straight up and down. I was trying to pose him, and he did not want to do it the way his feet are molded. So there's that little piece for you. But here he is, kind of a cool little pose. I, I do like that they gave us the fire hands. Very fun. I'm using a Batman 75th anniversary stand, <laughs> which was the peg was actually a little. It's really tight. It fit, I guess, well. So yeah, there he is. It's two extra hands he comes with. Of course, I'm. Well, whether or not he goes back in the box, I don't know. But if he's posed, he'll definitely have the fire hands. I see no reason to take them off. Let's get him off there. See, he was on there pretty good. Let's take a look at him. I'm kind of feeling like the pants are the same uh, on him and the Joker. I'm pretty sure they're the same pants. Just painted differently, I notice. I'm pretty sure. I haven't done a direct comparison, but from what I remember seeing on the Joker in terms of the molding of the wrinkles and stuff, I think they're the same. But yeah, his uh, head, which was stiff, goes side to side. He's got a nice uh, head mold, like considerably so. I know a lot of people complain about that, but you know, hey, they're $20 figures and they're six inches. Like, how good can it be? <laughs> But there are those lines, such as DC collectibles, that, you know, you're dishing out double and then some of what you pay for these, but the head sculpts are nicer. So, you, you know, you get what you pay for, and I'm okay with these uh, Mattel figures. But, uh, yeah, nice head sculpt. I thought they did really good with this. The tattoo work is fantastic, all the little details. But, yeah, his head's stiff, uh, but it does turn. It does not go up and down, I don't think, unless it's just that stiff it doesn't... Oh, teeny, tiny bit... <laughs> Uh, he's got the out and the around for the shoulder as usual, bicep cut, elbow bend, his wrists go around, he too has an ab crunch, really putting that on the figures. I think they're listening to some of the complainers out there about some of this stuff, so we'll go out with his leg and forward and back, with about the maximum range of movement you can get there. He's got the thigh cut, knee bend, and the feet move, but similar to Lex Luthor from BVS and the Joker, they're very limited by the way the uh, pants are shaped. Lex might actually, th these might be the same pants Lex is wearing, um, although I did compare him and the Joker and I thought there were some differences, but I have not done a comparison between, like I said, him and uh, the Joker. So yeah, there's a look at Diablo. They kind of dropped a bit of his name there, losing the L, just plain Diablo. So there he is. I, uh, I think he's pretty cool. I was excited for this uh, fire effect stuff. Pretty neat, something different. Pretty excited to see what he's like in the movie. It's going to be a really interesting and fun movie, if I do say so myself. That's actually coming out, what is it, Uh, what, 10, 11 days away or something now? 
or a few more than that. I don't know. Something. It's close. I'm excited. So, see you all at the theater, I guess, huh? <laughs> and, as usual, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Again, I look at Diablo. More of these guys on the way. Whenever they come. Who knows? Sooner than later, hopefully. Until then, though, keep on rocking, guys.